Gotta have more. I need more. What's up, you guys? I have been talking about some things that I was going, I am going to do. I'm not going to say was because I am going to do them because the things that you start, you should complete. And that's what, you know, the word of the Lord says. The Lord starts to think he shall complete it. He shall finish it. Amen. Amen. So. This is my new, this is going to be my new hair journey right here. Right here. This right here. Take a look at it. This thing right here. This is going to be my new hair journey because I like the way it looks. It has a dreadlock feel to it. It has a dreadlock. Anytime you put mini twists in your head, it has a dreadlock look to it. But this right here looks kind of like Lil Wayne, you know, and all that. So I like it, especially when I put my little headband on and all of that. Um, next topic. Today, I went to court, you guys, and I was frightened. I was like lions, tigers, and bears frightened. I was like, no, please. I was frightened. But I had, you know, I had, I kept an open mind. And I, I prayed to God all day, all day, all night. You know, I'm on a fast, you guys. And the Bible says that um, you really shouldn't boast about doing things like that. And I'm not really boasting. I'm just letting you guys know. So, you know, if you, if you wonder, like, why I'm not here or if I'm gone for a minute. I was going to intentionally, like, not make another video but I said that I'm on Facebook more than I'm on anything else. So I'll, you know, I'll leave Facebook alone and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll stop, you know, watching my TV and I'll stop doing things at a certain time. So I'm not on Facebook and I'm not over here with my little TV and my little machine and all of this other stuff. I'm not over here with that. I'm with this. This is, this is, this is key right here. I don't know. There's a change taking place in me because that's what I want. I want a better, I want a better, I can't, well, a better lifestyle. And I can't do well in life if I know that I'm blocking my own flow. And Jesus may be the reason, or God may be the reason that I'm blocking my own flow. But, you know, we want to cover all bases. We want to get the spiritual as well as the natural and all of that. We want to get all of that covered. We want to unblock all the flows everywhere, on every which way, every corner. So, like I was saying about court. Okay. Being up there on the 13th floor, was it 13th or the 15th? I think it was the 15th floor. Felt like a funeral parlor. A straight up and down funeral parlor. Oh my God, you know when you walk into a funeral home and this is silent. And it just, it, the whole setting is kind of like doom, 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 doom. You know, you walk into your dead man walking, you know, walk the green mile. So I'm sitting there and I'm, it just smells everywhere. It's, I just, ugh, it's just weird smells. And so I'm walking and I'm walking. She's like, go here. So I walk. And then I ended up having to turn around. And I'm like, is this where we're supposed to wait? <laughs> and they're like, yes. Yeah. So I'm sitting and I'm waiting. And my judge happens to be the daughter of Louis Stokes. And the niece of Carl Stokes. So if you're in Ohio, um... You know that the Windermere Rapid Station is, well, the Cleveland. If you're in the general Cle Cleveland area, greater Cleveland area, you know that the Windermere Rapid Station was, um, uh, was it? I believe it was that rapid station. I'm not sure. But something was named after Carl B. Stokes and Louis Stokes. And there were councilmen and women and stuff like that. So she's a judge. So, I mean, every generation, I guess, of their family was, you know, in politics and in, in, in you know things of that nature so i got her name was i don't want to say her name because well what is she gonna do to me <laughs> her name was angela angela stokes and so when she came out i like i she seemed kind of small and nonetheless i, I had i had the fear of god in me you know so i wouldn't i sat there and I watched everybody else go before I did and watch how their trials went. And she just was, she seemed kind of goofy. And um, I said, okay, well, maybe she won't find me guilty. <laughs> because ultimately, I didn't do anything. All I, you know, I, I don't want to give you the run out of the story. So I was just like, okay, I didn't do anything. It wasn't my fault. It was his fault, you know, for, you know, 
not letting me explain what the issue was and how we could resolve it without going about the way that we did resolve it. So we, um, when it came for me to stand up, I don't know what took place between an hour ago. Well, I've been sitting there for two hours. So I don't know what took place between um, no, was it an hour? I believe it was hours it's from nine to ten. That's when I got called. So between nine and ten o'clock, I don't know what happened, but I said I sat in my seat, and then when I got my name called, just everything just got dizzy, <laughs> like I was being sentenced to just just to hell. So I walk up there all nervous. I'm thinking I'm about to pass out. I'm so lightheaded. I'm nervous. I'm seeing all the lights and stuff. People looking at me, just walking up there. So. I get up there, and she goes, she got this little tiny voice, you are, she says something, she tells me what my, you know, my, um, the dilemma is, and she says, no, 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 my, my, what's the prosecutor, says, well, this is what we're going to do, do you want to do this, that, this, that, the other, so I said, well, this is what I want to do, I want to explain what I'm doing, so, in order to do that, you have to, change your plea from not guilty to no contest with um with um an examine explanation basically it's whether without you know a fine or whatever so i agreed to that and i told my story and so the dude he was like okay he just repeated exactly what i said the person who gave me the ticket he repeated exactly what i said so he lied on his part but then he repeated exactly what i said after i said it i felt so like i just started Tears, I got so upset when I get upset and nervous because I don't I don't like being in trouble I don't like being dealing with the law I don't like dealing with anything that's dangerous the law is dangerous I don't do that so I got upset <laughs> and I, I just started I tried to hold him back but I just started tears I was angry I was like oh do you know how you get the tears so I'm sitting here like trying to wipe the tears and she's just looking at me like so you uh, I find you guilty and I'm like, really? So what was the point of me explaining to you what happened? I'm thinking you're going to change your mind because I'm explaining to you what happened. And he's confirmed what I said. That, you know, this is what it is. And, you know, I felt that my explanation was good enough. And so I, I guess it wasn't. But anyway, to God be the glory, I ended up with 10 hours of community service, which I have to do before a certain date and time, which I will do with the help of I don't know what because I have no finances. <laughs> dried up like lint in my pocket so that's how that went and I think also the reason for me like feeling lightheaded is because I started my like I said I started my fast last night and I really want to be diligent about this and I want to be faithful and, and steadfast about this you guys seriously I'm taking it so seriously I've never done a fast before my friends uh, that I know of they've done it and they've cheated on it and so I'm not really sure if I cheated yet I ate some bread and some water. I'm drinking, eating bread and drinking water. Um, I wasn't really sure um, what type of fast I was going into, but I, I really like bread and water, so that's what I'm sticking to. And um, the Daniel's fast is in the Bible. It says that Daniel fasted for ten days with vegetables. It wasn't only him, but it was him. Um, was it Rachet, Meshach, and Abednego? And uh, Daniel said, test us with water and vegetables to see whether we um, come out better than, you know, those of them that eat the king's food. At the, uh, the king was Nebuchadnezzar at the time. If you don't know the story, read the book of Daniel. You know, we're getting into the word. And, and doing this, it's, my knowledge of the word has gotten so great by just, just praying and just being diligent and just wanting to you have to want to before I would say okay I want to but I would never really have the mindset to be like okay I'm gonna do it I would start it and then get bored or say get confused or something but this time I really mean business and um, it's it's going very very well I'm remembering it's not me fasting it's not for me to be able to quote scripture scripture it's for me to be able to um, it's, it's for knowledge. It's for wisdom. It's for being able to withstand things. It's for guidance overall. Overall. 
out of anything it's for guidance it's just to know more to be able to function better you can't function with um, the Bible says well people say God can't bless your mess so if you get mess and you expect God to come in and just do things for you that's what I say when, when I talk about blocking your own flow you gotta get out the way you gotta clear all the stuff out the way that you you know created and you gotta let him work so uh, yeah I ramble so much but sometimes when I have something to say it takes all day and I hope that at the end of my all day talking my all day message that you understand where I'm coming from and how you can benefit from it and so on and so forth and I hope you're really getting something from, from me right now seriously also as far as hair products I mentioned in the last video I think trying to remember I believe so that um, I would be buying products um, for one purpose after I get done with these I'm going to be like I use that gel that echo seller gel that's on my shelf I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be collecting items like I'm gonna go to the store and buy things that I think might suit my hair type and I'm going to do product reviews on them or even those that don't so that you know I know African export and everybody else they say well they tell you best of based off of their experience so based off of my experience may not help you because you don't have my hair type I don't have her hair type so it may not work for me because you know I don't have her hair type my hair is looser my hair is like a 3b three you know 3c something like that so um I wouldn't try to uh, do something off of a 4A, 4B, you know, standpoint. So you have to take that into consideration right there. Uh, if you have a different textured hair than I do, I know it's not going to come out the same. Nope. It may be better or worse. Mine may be better than yours because of the looser texture that I have. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you? Am I blessing you right now? <laughs> you know. So, yeah. When you, when you listen to these reviews, just take into consideration the hair type. So when I say something like, okay, I wouldn't buy this because that's my own opinion. Or if I say, um, you would really need, you know, for me, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about me. I'm not saying that you should do it because, you know. Or if I did say you, it's only to those of you who are in my community, who are in my 4A, 4B textured community. And then you have to take into consideration that there are subgroups of the textures of hair that you have. So, you know, there there is, you know, lots of stuff that you need to take into consideration before you just be like, okay, I'm not going to use this because African Export or, or, or Black Onyx said, you know, don't use it because it didn't work for our hair type not downing her reviews you know I love her reviews so I'm just saying like I wouldn't do it based off of that you see what I'm saying I hope you get what I'm saying I'm not trying to um, down anybody for their reviews like I said I love their reviews big ups to them for doing them and I'll continue to watch them you know as long as I put them out it's just that for my hair texture I may or may not buy that product but I've me knowing me I may buy just because I know you don't have the same hair texture that I have and the same hair type so what won't work for you probably will work for me so that's something you have to take into consideration as well which is probably in 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 all what I just said is like the same thing so yeah I'm leaving now because I need to go and be like Daniel and pray like three times a day I don't know what's going on with what well, I do know what's going on with me but it's just something wonderful. Praying is something that's wonderful. It's it's especially when you do it right. When you do it right, you get some tremendous results. You get things that you didn't get before. And I'm not trying to get anybody to try to convert or anything, but I'm just saying. Try before you buy. Seriously. Um as always, I love you guys even though I don't tell you all the time or at least I try to if I don't. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you can't do one to the other, if you can't do that one, do the one after that. If you can't do either of those, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. Um, and be blessed. As always, I'm praying for you daily. Daily. Seriously. Look at my eyes. I'm <laughs> I'm praying for you. Seriously. And um, just, just continue on with the good work. Peace out.